system Meters, liters, and grams Now you don't have to cram For your exam On the metric system Let me start with the ways you can measure a distance Like the height, mad, tall, or super small One of these will do you right If you try walking a meter It's easy to compete Because a meter's just a little bit more than three feet But if you walk in a kilometer It's gonna take a while It's 1,000 meters That's over half a mile A centimeter's dinky The width of your pinky A hundred of them go into a meter You still with me? There's another kind of meter Smaller than that It's not very fat It's called a millimeter in fact And it's tiny A thousand of them in a meter fit That's ten in a centimeter And that's Meters, liters, and grams. Now you don't have to cram for your exam on the metric system. Meters, liters, and grams. Now you don't have to cram for your exam. On the metrics. Now we moving on to the leaders, measuring liquids and containers. We only got two, it won't take long to explain this. A liter, it's half a big bottle of soda pop. And a milliliter, it's just about 20 drops. There's a thousand milliliters in a liter, you know. So if you got both of those, you're good to go. So now we can move on to the grams, measuring weight, kilograms, milligrams. Yeah, we keeping them straight, it's pretty simple. A paper clip weighs about a gram. A big textbook is a kilogram, man, but a milligram. So a little harder to slice, cause 10 milligrams is about a grain of rice. 1,000 milligrams is a gram, 1,000 grams in a kilogram. Now we got grams, we also got liters. Put them all together with the meters. With the meters. Meters, liters, and grams. Now you don't have to cram for your exam on the metric system. Meters, liters, and grams. Now you don't have Exam on the metric system.